out of Israel right now. With the ceasefire over, Israeli and Hamas forces are ramping up airstrikes. After the release of dozens of hostages last week, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu comparing Hamas to the devil today, as at least 136 people are still being held captive by Hamas in Gaza. News Nation's Alina Shirazi joining us live from Washington now. Alina, where do ceasefire negotiations stand tonight? Well, Natasha, they continue, like you said, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu comparing Hamas to the devil, saying that the Palestinian Authority, quote, pays murderers to hate Israel and murder Jews, vowing not to end this war until they finish all of their goals. Explosions lighting up a dark Gaza sky, marking the end of a week of peace. Today, the prime minister comparing Hamas to Satan, questioning how he can reason with the devil who murdered, raped, and burned human beings. The offensive continuing in Israel as Hamas bombs Tel Aviv. Israel calling back their team of negotiators from Qatar after reaching what they call a dead end in their talks. Israel's offensive now shifting to southern Gaza, ordering more neighborhoods in the line of fire to evacuate. The military saying more than 400 Hamas targets were hit in Gaza over the past 24 hours, using everything from airstrikes and shelling to tanks and Navy gunships. The United States urging Israel to do more to protect the people. The images and videos coming from Gaza are devastating. The vice president in Egypt today meeting with their president saying Washington will not allow forced relocations of the Palestinian people or any redrawing of the current border of the Gaza Strip. Now many buildings damaged by the strikes fill the air with smoke with rubble and debris scattered in the streets. The Israeli military publishing an online map cutting up the Gaza Strip into numbered parts, asking civilians to get familiar with where they live ahead of evacuation warnings. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry saying about 200 Palestinians have been killed since the fighting picked back up. Many seen running for shelter after strikes hit their apartments. <laughs> And the families of many of these hostages who have still not been released yet are waiting in desperation, asking their government to do something and again bring their loved ones back home. The Israeli Prime Minister's office saying earlier that there are still 136 hostages unaccounted for, including 17 women and children. Natasha. Okay, Alina Shirazi live for us in D.C. with that update. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.